You use beef tallow? I do use beef tallow. How do you know that? As a moisturizer? Yeah, how the hell did you know that? <laughs> It's I didn't even know this. What yeah, the hell beef, is beef, tell beef, beef tallow is just beef fat. It's just like cow fat. And you like what do you use? I it? Rub it all over my face. Really? Yeah, it's the it's the best. It's okay. Do me a favor, right? If you're watching this, or if you're just listening in the room tonight or tomorrow morning, whenever you put your moisturizer on, if you don't put moisturizer on, I don't know. You may you may want to think about that. Depends how old you are, but like, go look at your moisturizer, right? It, it probably has like 50 ingredients and you might know like what two of them are, right? Beef tallow is just beef tallow. It's just beef fat. When you think about our ancestors, right? Like how did we do anything, right? We killed the animal and we used every piece of that animal, the bones. We'd cook bone broth, right? True. We'd get collagen for the skin. People have been calling him the liver king second coming. No, I'm not so. that way, but I'm just saying like why he not? He sleeps on a, a metal slab. Uh, I am going to get a new mattress. It's going to be 100% wool or cotton, but that's... What? That has nothing to do You guys do take it. a very holistic approach to things, though. In a Definitely. Sense, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, we do had the baby like at home. Steak? And, huh? Do you smell like a steak? No, I don't. Actually, no, the, the beef towel has no smell. It's it's really weird. So, But, yeah, you think about our ancestors. Like, they're using that stuff for sure. They're like, what is this? And they're like, oh, very moisturizing. Like, I don't know how they talk, but, you know. <laughs> Wait, so do you go to the grocery store? I do still go to the grocery store, but I don't buy any meat from the grocery store. I buy it from a butcher. This beef towel, though, it's not marketed as, like, yeah. a face moisturizer. No, it? no, it's just beef towel. <laughs> oh, my God. So where, do you get the beef, you know. where do you get the beef towel? Though? The beef towel I order online, but my butcher makes beef towel. I just... I mean, honestly, I don't know why I, I should buy from my butcher. Like I know, I, I know where they grow their cattle, so maybe that'd be smarter. But he'll so be you, a, he'll be a hippie soon enough, full blown, you know. Nah, I mean, not yeah. <laughs> like there's balance, right? Like I get it. No, it's good though. I mean, you want to know where your meat's from? Oh, I have to because how do you know what your meat's eating? Because you're eating the meat, so like. It is, serious, like, it is a serious epidemic, though, oh in the God, United yeah. States. Like, just all the additives. And you go over to Europe, and, like, you eat the bread over in Italy. Like, I was there with my family this summer, and, like, you feel you feel like light, and it doesn't feel like you totally. have bloated stomach from eating the bread. And Australia it's like, is the same way. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just so, I don't know. Even in the grocery stores over there, like, a lot of things are banned that are fully on the market here, which is, like, one thing I like about that RFK dude is, like, that's one of his biggest things. Like, oh, he doesn't want yeah uh, additives in America but that's too. why like the he'll never get in it's like because they need i mean this yeah, is all like of course. it's gonna start sounding <laughs> conspiracy but like they need control right like we need people to get sick from the food they eat you know so they'll pay for the drugs those are the two biggest markets like and then you need them to be addicted to the food so they keep buying the food that is just killing them anyways, right? And shit is crazy. That's like that's here's it's not a big secret. I actually, but at the same time, like a McDonald's burger no. slaps, you know. No.